Oh, praise God. Hey, I bind your strong man. The demonic strong man in, around you, attached to you, somehow assigned to you, got a contract on you. Satan and his demons, swords, witchcraft, words, a curse. Family line, generational bloodline curses. Oh, don't you hate it? So you're uh, sick. See the morning doves? Can you see it? Oh, no focus. So you're sick and you're going to contact somebody, me or somebody else, a Holy Ghost a Christian for divine healing and deliverance. Now, a lot of people miss this, so I'm going to make, you're watching the video of how to prepare for your divine healing. Of course, you want to gather some divine healing promises of God and, and write them down and have them personalize right these are my scriptures I'm gonna stand on them the promises of God for my healing that's important today we're talking about symptoms right said so somebody might say I got stage 4 cancer stage 4 lung cancer can you pray for me or can you pray for my loved one um, talk about that real quick. let's get that out of the way real quick you get deliverance and then we'll come into intercession spiritual warfare for your loved ones you get deliverance all right i can come through the family line through you to get to your loved one all right so we're talking about symptoms today not necessarily stage four cancer or uh, skin condition or acid reflux or ulcer on your leg not necessarily the name the doctor would give it, or the name you've given it if you've self-diagnosed. Um, certainly if you have an addiction, you're gonna call it, I have a meth addiction. But I wanna know how bad it is, your situation. So that when we pray, maybe you haven't set up an appointment for me for Skype or Restream or Zoom or Facebook. Maybe you haven't set up the appointment yet, but you've decided you will ask for prayer divine healing prayer and it's all part of the atonement it's all part of your salvation package salvation divine healing demon deliverance and blessing all part of it all paid for by jesus through suffering death and resurrection by his stripes you are healed holy spirit i just need a couple more minutes to uh, finish this video for this person if you could uh, put a hedge of protection around me to block that wind still got the morning dust All right, so what I want you to do, instead of writing down stage four cancer, I want you to keep a diary every day from right now. Keep a diary every day of what happens to you. And it doesn't have to be long. You could, I just want you to write a list of every symptom. I don't care how long that list is. It might be a long list. Um, if you've got, God forbid, stage four cancer, what are the symptoms? Well, I'm vomiting. Well, how often? How many times did you vomit today? How many times does that happen? Usually, approximately, during the day. Or I've got a real uh, pain uh, on the left side of my head, stage four cancer. Okay, or in your lungs. All right, what's the pain? Where's the pain exactly? All right, um, I'm constantly coughing. Okay, now, something like constantly coughing, how am I gonna give that a number? between one and 10, Gary, how am I gonna give that a number? Tell you how many times? Just give me a degree. Like, you're making up the number, all right? You give me the number between one and 10, 10 being the worst. You give me the number, and then when we pray, see, when we pray, then you can tell me, well, it was a five, and now it's a six, or it's a, or now it's a four, and we can give God the glory when it goes down to four, right? Acknowledging the Holy Spirit, right? Uh, encouraging the Holy Spirit to give you more. Whoever has more will be given. All right, so give everything, list everything that's going on. For instance, if you've got a leg ulcer, we'll measure it. Is it two inches? We'll write down two inches. And then after prayer, we can, if it goes down to an inch, you can say, oh, praise God, went down. Uh, give God the glory. 
through Jesus Christ, through his suffering, death, and resurrection, by his stripes, you were healed 2,000 years ago. We're going to enforce, enforce that victory. And it'll make it your victory through Christ, in Christ, with Christ Jesus. It's all for the glory of God the Father, by the way. So I want every symptom, all right, every symptom, not the disease, not, don't say flu. I want to know what the flu symptoms, each one listed, are, and give it a number. Or if it's like an ulcer or a red blotch and it's itchy, uh, you could say the red blotch is five inches on my thigh and it's uh, uh, number six itch. Like I say, you pick the number. Start the diary now uh, so that when we come to prayer, whether you come to prayer with me or anybody else, you have a little diary. Well, well it's been getting worse or it's been a little better, but every day I have, um, it could be also for demonic torment or your addiction. It's like if you're taking so much meth every day, let me know how many, how much, how many and how much, uh, meth hits or whatever you take uh, a day if you have a demonic poltergeist uh, well uh, the poltergeist uh, uh, rattles around in my attic between three and four uh, every day write it down it's a symptom of demonic activity and if it goes from well every day from two to five I know it increased. You'll be able to say right through your diary, well, that demonic activity has been increasing. Yeah, and you have it written down. So uh, do that now, start that now. Of course, pain level is easy. It's like if you got a pain in your shoulder, you say, yeah, it's about a number five pain. And that's easy. All right, and uh, something like you always have a phlegm. Oh. Just uh, if you give it a number, you have phlegm and you're always coughing, you could say, well, today it's a five, yesterday it was a four, or, you know what I'm saying? Start the diary now, every day, keep it every day. And if you write a list, you just put a little a blank sheet of paper, you just put the date up there and one column is today's symptoms and the number beside it. Well, you, on the next column, on the page, you just write the date and just go from a if it's a five yesterday and it's a six today, it doesn't have to be anything exhaustive, taking too much time. It will take some time to write down every symptom, every symptom. Now you might have a symptom today and you might not have it tomorrow, but you don't know. And then as the days go by, you don't remember. Oh, when did that start? I don't know. It's very important to know when we pray, come together for your divine healing prayer. It's very important to know what's happening today, what the pain level is today. All right, that's the most important thing, but it really helps to know what you've been going through. Okay. All right, and you can see that it's demonic and it goes up and down. It's like they got control over you today or they don't have so, so much control over you today. And in the future after our divine healing prayer because sometimes holy ghost jumps on you and you are healed that's it you're done you're free thank god uh, and sometimes it's over time could be you wake up the next morning and it's gone well praise jesus could be it takes a week could be it takes a month so if you've got stage four cancer and it, you're healed right away praise god you got stage four cancer and you get healed in a week. Well, praise God. You got stage four cancer and they're trying to kill you and you get healed in a month. Oh, well, praise God. If it takes a month. Better than dying, right? But we have something to refer to when you check back in and say, yeah, it went up and now it went down. All right. And if it goes away and we give the Holy Ghost, the third person of the Trinity, God, the Holy Spirit, we give him the glory and we thank him and we ask for more. Write down all your symptoms starting today, even if you're not scheduled for a divine healing appointment with me or another Holy Ghost Christian. All right. And this is all to shame the devil. 
Yeah, you might have to confess some sins. You might have to forgive some people you haven't forgiven yet. Uh, you might have to decide you're not going to sin anymore and stand uh, in faith. And you need help with that. You need deliverance ministry. And deliverance is one-third about what we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament. One-third. Probably pretty important. What we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament was demon deliverance. We get the demons off you, we cancel those assignments and contracts, you start forgiving people, and you start confessing and repenting finally, and confessing and finally getting deliverance for those sins, practicing sin. Then we call the demons off you. That gives me the authority to cancel them damn demons and kick them the hell out, kick them to the pit. So I bind your strong men. In chains, eternal chains of eternal fire, I command it to get small, weak. I speak weakness on you. I speak your way dark and slippery. You will come out of this person. You will lose them. You and every demon underneath you concerning this person and all spells, evil, hoodoo, voodoo, juju, doo-doo that those witches do, they're all going to be canceled because there'll be no more demonic connection to you. And... The witches can call off the curses or they can take them back and that'll teach them. That'll, that'll inspire them to repent, won't it? All right, call the, the poltergeist stuff going on in your house. Like I said, if it concerns a loved one, you must submit to deliverance prayer first. I don't think I, I don't think there's any way to, no ambiguity ambiguity about that is there no uh we don't have any miscommunication about that you get deliverance first and then we come into intercession and spiritual warfare for your loved ones or whatever you want to come into spiritual warfare for intercession praise god so long video about a simple subject very important though very important especially Actually, on the day during the deliverance, I'm going to ask you, okay, what's the pain level right now? And I want to know every time it goes up and anything goes down, uh, it's all part of the process and it helps me focus my attack. You're going to be attacking the demonic symptoms in your life. As I say, it's, uh, hey, your doctor might be a sincere guy, sincere woman, sincere whoever. Um, They might be sincere, sincere and a good person and doing the best they can. Well, they're using a fallen science in a fallen world. They're doing the best they can in a fallen world with a fallen science using human knowledge. And we're coming from a supernatural standpoint. I am seated with Jesus in the third heaven, high above all these things, high above man's knowledge and demonic knowledge and demonic activity. I come from above that, supernatural. I'm going to be attacking from a superior position with superior weapons with the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and by his blood through his name, the name above every other name, stage four cancer, whatever, uh, ulcer on your leg, I got the name above it. I want the name that's of the symptom, the, the symptom. Now I'll ask you, what did the doctor say? Well, he says, I got schizophrenia. I got bipolar. Uh, I've been diagnosed. I'm taking this and this medication. Maybe you're self-medicating. So if you're self-medicating or your prescription, what's the level? How much are you taking? It's going up. It's getting worse. Headaches. Uh, maybe you're getting uh, nightmares. How many nightmares in the night? How often in the week? Three times a week? You get nightmares, night sweats, terrors, sleep paralysis, being raped at night by incubus or succubus. Well, it would help to know how often that happens, would it? Of course it would. Right now, start the diary. Today, keep the diary until these damn things are kicked out. Uh, then you can burn the whole lot. Then you can forget about it. Just give God the glory. Praise God. Be part of your testimony. Your test is going to be a testimony. Your mess is going to be a message. 
and you're going to start praying for people who are afflicted just like you to the glory of God. Well, you'll know all about it because you went through it. Praise Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Get deliverance. Get deliverance. Get deliverance.